Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another finished first division match for you. Um, there's really nothing going on. Um, other than I'll say he's suspended for this match. Yellow cards, all that good shit. Um, I have been tinkering with a few minor things, just trying to keep us from accruing a shit ton of yellow cards. But yeah, you know, it's not really working all that well. Um. Like I said, hopefully we'll kind of we'll kind of get back on track here. Um, we do have it was an eight point lead at the top. I think I, I believe it's eight points. Um, that's wonderful. Uh, we have like as I've said before, a pretty favorable schedule. We still need to get to at least the last two games with our last uh, with our eight point lead. As you can see there, oh, it's it's five now because uh, FC Hawk has played a match, but we do have a game in hand. So yeah, you know it is what it, it is. But anyhow. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I really don't have anything for you. Um, I do have something. I was kind of mulling over this idea, I guess, last couple days. Um, but we'll get we'll go ahead and get right into this, and then and then see how we see how we get going here. But um, anyhow, um. I, I've I've kind of been watching a lot of Spanish Premier Division, you know, one of the BBVR or whatever the hell it is. Um, mostly because the channel that I get that has a shit ton of football on is BN Sports and they have a contract with them, so I've been seeing a whole lot of that shit. And it kind of got me thinking about this LP, and I'll tell you why here. Um, I kind of don't like Spanish football. Um, it has nothing to do with how they play. Um, it has everything to do with the fact that it's pretty much a two-team race in the in the division, and um, it, like I said, it got me thinking a lot. Ooh, hunting in! Oh, that was gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful little lob on the goalkeeper there. Nice little chip. But anyhow, um, one of the things that I, you know, like I said, it's like they've been airing a bunch of promos because like they got El Clasico on in like five days. And if you don't know anything about football, El Clasico is basically just. Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now they make a big ass fucking deal about this because it's kind of a heated rivalry, and quite honestly, it's the only good game that the Spanish Premier Division has. And I, and I say this because honestly, like I said, it's a two horse race in Spanish football. I mean, don't get me wrong, Atletico Madrid had a hell of a season last year and it really did a great job of you know winning the division. I have you know all sorts of respect for them. And, and in particular, Diego Simeone, eh, because he's just a hell of a manager. But, you know, it's just, like I said, I mean, you just, when you watch Spanish football from top to bottom, I mean, you know, it just, Real Madrid and Barcelona, oh my God, really? Fucking hell, so much for that fucking, no, they're not going to miss. So. Pretty much chalked this up as a fucking, look at that, it hits Monsal right in the fucking face, too. But, uh, you know, as I was saying, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's hard to watch sometimes because, like I said, uh, you know, there's very few teams. Like, Valencia is okay in there. Atletico Madrid is decent, you know, but outside of those guys, plus Real Madrid and Barcelona, there's really no one in the Spanish Premier Division that's really any good. And he is offsides. Well, fucking, or not. He was way offsides, but hey, whatever, that's, that's fine. But anyway, uh, you know, like I was saying, and, and, and in all honesty, you know, and I and I got done, you know, I just I just don't like I just don't like you know the, the lack of parity in in Spanish football. It's it's kind of sad. I mean, you know, and, and I'm an underdog guy. You know, I'm gonna sit here hoping against hope that somebody beats you know the big the big giants. And you know, it's kind of boring to watch because you you, you kind of know how things are going. And, and like I said, I'll make the connection here in a minute. But you know, and you know, I, and I just got done watching uh, Liverpool yesterday play Swansea and and Swansea's not bad I'm not gonna lie but you know I, I like English football a lot more just because there's there's at least that threat I mean uh, at the weekend we saw Burnley beat Man City and Burnley you know is a bottom table team you know I mean you can say what you want about you know those teams being those teams not being very good but at least there's parity and it got me thinking about this LP in particular because there's a lot of parity in this league and I hope I hope in in at least some facet we kind of retain that parity. I don't want to get too 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 far ahead of everyone else and and finish football um, 
because it's like like I said a, a, as as a viewer as someone who's enjoying football if you're watching this you know that the enjoyment is in the fact that your favorite club or this club you know may lose you know there's there's no you know I mean it's it's not very much fun when you know that you know this team that you're watching is the big boy and they're just gonna win and, and like I said I mean that's that's kind of the problem with being sports is you know, I, I actually like it because, like I said, they have a ton of football. And, you know, I should mention that they also have... What the hell is it called on? Uh, Jesus. French League One stuff on there as well, which I enjoy more because, you know, the teams are more even. You know, as a spectator, it's more it's more fun to watch. I hate how the fuck they do that, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. But, you know, how they had the two guys off here. I don't know how to fucking stop that. Uh, for whatever reason, all of a sudden, I've been seeing set pieces like this. The last couple of seasons I've been playing. I don't know what the fuck it is, and it's always against my club as well. I don't know how, I don't know what the fucking deal is. It just all of a sudden, I started doing that. Everyone lines up in the wall, and you don't see this in fucking football if you've ever watched it. Everyone lines up on the wall. Oh my god, Hanan in with a brace. Hanan in with a brace. Nice. But anyway, everyone lines up up here to form the wall, and then you have the two assholes that stand on the fucking post. You don't see that in football. And the reason why it causes a problem because you have everyone standing on the wall here. You have the two guys on the post. And then the opposition team puts all their players right up here in front of the goalkeeper. You know, so if there's any fumbling of the ball whatsoever, it's an automatic goal for the opposition, you know, for these guys. Like I said, it's I've never seen, you know, Helsing Boers or, or Helsing Fours actually, you know, or, or any other club, FC Hawk or anyone defend a set pieces like that i don't know how to fix that i mean i've never seen it ever in my life until like the last two seasons i've been playing more specifically since i started this and it's starting to show up now on my on my um main file on, on my galway united career and that's really really irritating the shit out of me because I, I don't know how to defend it i mean i i i, I don't know it, it irritates the shit out of me because i've never i haven't changed anything and all of a sudden, they start defending set pieces in this weird, back-ass way that doesn't make any fucking sense. And I don't know how to fix that. I've tried. I've gone through and I've looked at my shit. And nothing says form a fucking wall and then, you know, stand on the goal line, which makes everyone onside. Anyway. I, I really should, like, rewind it back to that and, make, and, and show you what the fuck I'm talking about. But I'm not going to bore you to death with that shit. Oh, my God. That's wonderful movement, but Stavs was offside. But anyhow, um, like I was saying, I mean, it's it. it you know, and, and as I was saying, like with VN Sports, they show. I mean, they are, they show the big clubs, obviously. So you get a shit ton of Barcelona, a shit ton of Real Madrid. Like I said, like the the results are just boring after a while because you know, oh look, they're playing Catafe. It's like well, or Osasuna or whatever, or, you know, Celta Vigo, and it's like well, we know how this is gonna end because. Neither of those clubs can really hold the candle to Real Madrid. Yeah, sure, Real Madrid's good, but it's not any fun to watch as a spectator because they're not my favorite club. Clearly, you know, they're not my favorite club to watch. So I mean, I want to, I want to see something entertaining, you know. But anyway, like I said, um, I hope, I hope we don't get too far ahead of everybody else in the finish, you know, Premier Division when we get there because. As a spectator, I want this to be entertaining for you guys, the viewers. You know, I want you to, you know, hang on every word, hang on every play, hopefully. I mean, like I said, I know nobody's watching this right now, but, you know. Like I said, that, that having watched all the Spanish football that I've been watching lately, it's it got me thinking about that. And like I said, I hope I hope we don't get too good. You know, because, I mean, it's, it's kind of the way my goal with United career is. I mean, we're such, we're, I mean, we're head and shoulders above everyone else. You know, by far and away, I mean, I can play my B team against every team in the Irish Premier Division and we're, we're going to win. You know, it's just the way it is. Um, and, and like I said, hopefully, I hope I took, I'm just kind of hoping that, like, we, I, I started in the right league, I guess is what I'm saying. I hope that this league doesn't get boring and gets, get to the point where, you know, we just dominate every local team and just, that's just the way it is. And every match is boring except for the, you know, except for the, the you know, Europe, uh, not Europa League, but the Champions League matches that we play. You know, I want to be a little more entertaining 
than than that is because like I said, it's not it's not very fun as a as a spectator to watch, you know. But anyhow, um, and and that also gave me you know it gave me got me thinking about you know maybe switching to a different club later. Um, if depending on how long I play this, I mean if we get that far, we do. If not, no big deal. But you know I was kind of harking back or thinking back to man I'm just all over the fucking place I don't even know what I'm talking about but anyhow my vocabulary just all sort of fucking all sorts of fucking whack but anyhow I was thinking about you know all the other um uh you know football manager careers I've had and I've had now uh, when I played FM12 I had a couple teams and I had a manager that kind of bounced around to a couple different places and I actually had a lot of fun with that um Oh shit, were we? Yeah, we were calm, weren't we? Yep, because I'm a jerk. Ooh, I don't like how Stasilla took that. And he's got a yellow card too, so we're going to take you off and put our ends on. Hopefully that will not be... Not in our fucking... <laughs> not rob us of the three points here like I did last time. Well, almost, anyhow. Um... You know, and like I said, I, I'll give that a thought. Like, if this, if we play this long enough, or if I play this long enough, and it gets kind of stagnant, you know, and obviously the job opportunities are there, I'll kind of play around with that idea. Like I said, it all depends on what jobs are out there. One of my most memorable ones was was in the German Bundesliga. I took, you know, kind of my hometown, Kaiserslautern, and, and oh, I was only there for a season and a half. But it was a lot of fun. I mean, I came in, saved him from relegation, and then took him to the top of the Bundesliga the following year. And that was because I had some awesome, awesome off-season acquisitions. I had a couple of players that I bought that were just phenomenal, and then a couple of players that I signed, you know, on freeze that were just that just came in and you know led the Bundesliga in scoring. It was just fantastic. It was a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. But anyhow, um, you know, it's kind of enough of that for now. Enough of me just fucking just talking about all the random bullshit I've been thinking about for like the last I want to say two three days since I recorded the last episode but anyhow um let's see what else is there to kind of talk about here oh uh, let's, let's, let's talk a, let's talk a little bit about tactics because I've been kind of playing with stuff um I have been experimenting like I said I play this game all the fucking time literally if I'm not playing oh Jesus that's not good at least he didn't decide to fucking finish that, right? Anyhow, I've been play, kind of playing with um, with with some of the players and the positions and the skill sets that I'm using. Um, I think the thing with Stavsila um and the way he's being used um is something that I'll continue to work with. Um, I do have a few players. Jesus, we are not playing well defensively, are we? Holy shit! Look at these match ratings. This is fucking terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull fucking Gron home just for the sake of just. I mean, just for that. I mean, come on. Let's go with Ramasaho at least. At least, hopefully, it'll be better than a fucking six-two. Jesus, it's just not good at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, that that wing back position is 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 something we'll toy around with. Like I said, I think I'll put some. Uh. Um, some, uh, what do you want to call them, uh, you know, like actual true wingers and they're more offensive minded players in here with these, with these wing back spots right here. I mean, it's just, like I said, I've, I've had some success, obviously with Stavsila, you know, he's been a really good success here, in, in my opinion, at, at this level. And like I said, I've been toying with it, oof, I've been toying with it on my, my goalie United career and Jesus, they're just giving away free kicks over here. Like it's nothing. And I'm okay with that. Not that we convert on set pieces much, but you know it is what it is. Um, and anyhow, I, mean, I think I'll I think I'll kind of look to push to push that. Obviously, you want players that are well-rounded. I think that's kind of what we're gonna look for. We're gonna look for players that are well-rounded. You know, players that have you know good technical and playmaking abilities on on these wing positions as well as defensive um, abilities because. Obviously, they're primarily in a defensive role, but, you know, we want them to kind of get forward and contribute to the attack as well. So, I think, 
you know, like I said, that's something to look forward to, um, and to look for later when we get into this. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to make some changes here in this coming off season. I don't think we're going to be able to make many. I think the only changes that we're really going to be able to make are, um, our, our changes to our, uh, Oh, what do you want to call it? Our changes to our, you know, that team in terms of signings. I mean, I think we're only going to be able to pick up people that are on a free, that are in country. It's usually the way it goes for, like, the first couple seasons. We have, like I said, no money as of right now. Oh, good pass. Arnold's away and free, and he dumps it off to Ayala to miss it. Wonderful. That's just, that's great stuff right there. Yeah, just shank that. That's okay. We're okay with that. But anyhow, um, speaking of, I think it's, I want to say Ryson, and uh, I just received a little in-game notice that Ryson's contract is up in three months, which means, obviously, we're very, very close to the end of the season. We don't have very far to go. Um, and I haven't quite yet decided on as to whether or not we'll re-sign him. I'm thinking we will just because I think we're going to need the numbers and the bodies. And he's about as good as we're gonna get I mean we're kind of like I said stuck in that financial situation right now where ooh, that cross had a little more pace on it we would have done a little bit better with that but um you know, like I said we, we don't have um, we don't have much for options right now um, there's really nothing out there that we can get our hands on is he on side or no okay good stuff we don't really have much that we can get our hands on you know I mean, like I said, we have no money. We're not going to have fucking hell. Jesus. Every time Arenz is on the fucking pitch, he gets injured. Now we have to fucking pull him because he's injured, injured, and he can't fucking continue. God damn it. No. <sighs> fucking getting tired of that shit. Really getting tired of that shit. It's one of the things that really... I mean, can I say this enough times? It's one of the things that pisses me the fuck off. I hate that shit. You know, if you're just going to fucking get injured every fucking two seconds, then that's something like, as I said before, you know, all right, once, twice, maybe three times, got it. But you know what? Just fucking quit with that shit. I'm just, you know, nothing's more annoying than that. Nothing. It's like, what the fuck do I even have you on the payroll for? I don't know. That's just me. I, mm, 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 mm. I mean, it's, I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess, I think part of it is, like, the match engine for me is, like, the match engine is, is like, yeah, hey, fuck it, we're just getting injured because he's susceptible to injuries or whatever fucking bullshit reason they have. So I'm just like, here, just fucking throw him out there and get injured. Hey, yeah, look at that. I mean, I'd rather have him at least get injured and at least vary it. Have him get fucking injured in training. That's fine. Whatever. You know? But he doesn't need to be fucking pulled off the pitch every time he comes on. And he's coming out as a fucking substitute. It's not like he's out there for fucking 60 minutes. You gotta understand that. He's out there for... He was out there for, what, maybe 20? And he gets injured every fucking time. You put him out there almost. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Ah, oh, Christ. Well, the good thing is this. Well, there really isn't any good thing. <laughs> Aside from the fact that we're getting a single point out of this, which means... Our lead will be down to six points if if the result holds as it is. Did not want to squander our eight points or at least start chipping away at it quite yet. Um, for obvious fucking reasons. We still got like six, eight matches left to go. But anyhow. Um, yeah. Not you know, like I said. Let's just look at those. You know, you look at the team ratings of our defenders. I mean, those are just or you know, player ratings of our defenders. Just you know, our attackers are, are you know, our midfield and our attackers are pretty decent, except for Owusu being shit today. But really, have no fucking. I mean, I I, I can't do anything about that because obviously, like I said, I mean, you got Arin's getting fucking injured every time he steps on a fucking blade of grass. So I mean, it is what it is. But yeah. Whatever. I guess I guess we should consider ourselves fucking lucky that we're going to get out of here with one point. Which is what's going to happen here, because they're going to blow the whistle here shortly. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, well, that was disappointing. 
once again, it's all it's all about our defenders. Our defenders let us down. Our our attackers, two goals two goals with this formation, not bad. Honestly, not bad. I'm not gonna be a dick. I don't fucking care. You know, but it's you, you know, once again you you know like I said, our, our full time ratings are just fucking shit, and they're terrible. I mean, like I said, Wusu was shit, and but like I said, I I can't do anything about that, cause a I don't have the fucking enough substitutions, cause they used the last one on, fucking what's his name on Arins, but anyway, yeah, you know, it is it is what it is, and look at that, all the results drew today or this match day, whatever you want to call it. But anyhow, um, that about does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully you enjoyed me getting all pissed off. And like I said, hopefully we'll, we won't get too far ahead of everybody. And, and results like this will happen. Not all the time, but at least we'll have a pretty good chance of it happening so like i said so it's not all boring and you see the same fucking result play out time and time again but anyhow if you made it this far on youtube you know what to do like subscribe blah 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 bye bye bye